Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous. We have a little weird problem in the United States. Too much money. What? Too much money? There are a lot of people unemployed. There, there's a huge number of people who've been unemployed for more than 24 months. How can you possibly say that we have too much money? It's simple. You pick the ending. Um, and they've been pocketing the cash. Why have they been pocketing? And they haven't been doing anything with it. They haven't been investing in the kind of stuff that would produce new jobs. Why haven't they been investing in the kind of stuff that would produce new jobs? Well, Republicans say that they haven't been investing because the Democrats are creating a climate of instability and unpredictability. And businessmen do not want to invest when they can't predict what's going to happen tomorrow. Remember, the Republicans, the folks who were standing up in the boat, drunkenly after eating, drinking an entire quart of beer, and saying, don't you fucking rock the boat to the poor Democrats who were sitting in the back huddled in terror. In other words, the guys who were crashing our government right now, the guys who were shutting it down, the guys who want to renege on the debt. Okay, they're creating instability. But it isn't even the instability created by the Republicans that is keeping businessmen from investing hard as Republicans have been trying for the five years of the Obama administration to crash the entire American system so they can blame Obama. No, that's not why these big money bags are not being invested in stuff that would give you jobs. They're not being invested because businessmen do not see an opportunity to sell something. Why don't they see an opportunity to sell something? Lack of imagination. Lack of vision. What in the world do I mean? Once upon a time, there was a company founded in a garage that did very well for roughly 20 years. And then under the, uh, it, it brought in a big time executive, corporate executive to run the place, John Scully. And John Scully, he was visionary. He foresaw the days when you would be able to carry an entire computer in your pocket. He made a thing that actually did that. He didn't really know how to sell it. And the result was Apple was ready to die. And then Steve Jobs, came into the corpse and revived it. How did he revive it? The wow factor. Building things that people would really salivate over, that they would die to possess. And then knowing how to tease them, how to tempt them, how to promote and market to them in a way that made them salivate even more. For example, leaking just a few copies of a product to just a few people at the very top of the totem pole, people we all want to be like, and making sure you and I couldn't get our hands on them for a year. These are things we'll cover someday, called the scarcity factor, the way that he did it. The fact is, he made us salivate. So what happened to Apple from 2008, the great crash of our lifetime until today. Apple went from being a company of modestly big size to the most valuable corporation on the face of planet Earth. And it invested and it created jobs. Unfortunately, most of those jobs were in China. Nonetheless, it created jobs. Why? Because it was able to it was able to tap a need we didn't know we have by in part creating that need. And that is part of the magic of capitalism. And if you look over the history of evolution, the 3.85 billion years of evolution, you'll find that in a funny way, that's part of the magic of evolution, to find a new landscape of need and then to take advantage of desire because desire advances all of us. Every device that Apple has put forth has radically magnified our powers as human beings. So why aren't the American, the heads of American industry investing and in giving you and me new jobs? 
lack of imagination, lack of the ability to confabulate new things that make us salivate, and then having confabulated them to actually successfully tease, seduce, and recruit us into having powers we never had before. Remember, if you tap human desire, you can overcome even the worst ability to run a company of the future that does things that have never been done before. It's the wow factor. And we don't just need the wow factor in a few American companies. We need the wow factor in our entire American economy so we can continue to lead the world, which I would dearly love us to do. The wow factor. This is Howard the Humongous speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to imagine and then to make. Now for the incompetent part of our show. Don't you realize you can't close your eyes when you're in front of the camera, you idiot? <laughs>